Hello everyone, Mr. Merky Chins, and I'm going to show you how to set up a Discord webhook and use it in PHP to create a sort of API which would allow you to send notifications to your Discord server uh, on specific events. Um, now what I'm going to do is be coding it within phpfiddle.org which is an online PHP compiler. It's just easier uh, to use in tutorials and stuff um, to get things shown without having to use localhost and web servers. Um, so what we're going to do first of all is go to Discord, go to your server settings, uh, go into the webhooks tab and create a new one. Now you can give it a name, uh, it doesn't really matter because you can actually change the name. I'll just call it YouTube Test and I'll put it in the Modlog channel because that's um, a private one which won't annoy the users. Uh, you can also give it a avatar and all this stuff is just because it's, it's like a user messaging in your channel so this is you setting up the user uh, and then what we'll do is we'll copy the webhook URL and press save so now that we've got our webhook set up we'll go in and I'll just quickly comment on that there so I have it for later on now the code to this is really simple we're just going to use a curl request to send a bit of data to this URL so it will post into our server um, so we're going to be using a curl request and to do that we'll just uh, initialize a new one we'll say curl is equal to curl underscore init and then we'll give it our URL usually I'll put URL like so but because it's so uh, there isn't a lot of code to this what we'll do is we'll just paste it in there like that and then all we need to do is tell the curl request that we want to use uh, the post method and then we need to just tell it the parameters that we want to send within the post request. To do that we use curl underscore set option and then we give it our curl request and then we tell it the option we want to use uh, which will be all caps curl option underscore post and then in the other parameter we'll use a one um, so that uses that for us. And then the next one the last option is curl underscore set option same thing again, give it our curl request. This time we're going to use curl option uh, underscore post fields, just like that. And then Discord requires us to send a JSON encoded string uh, with all the parameters in. So we can use PHP's function JSON underscore encode. And then the thing we want to encode is an array this time because there's going to be multiple things within. Uh, the JSON string. So first of all is the actual message and Discord require you to call it content uh, that's just how they interpret it on their end and that will be equal to the message that you want to use which will be in our case I'll just use test. Um, now it's fine to use it just like that because that is probably the main thing um, that is obviously you wouldn't really need to use the array for that because it's two things but it's fine it's absolutely fine and then the last thing is we'll just execute it and we'll echo it to get some output and we'll use curl underscore exec and we put our curl request in there just like that and hit go and you can see as soon as I've hit that the message is already here so uh, YouTube test the, belt, the bot is sent the message test and that's exactly all, what we give it and you can see that it returned the number one um, so maybe you could add some sort of error handling if, it, if the output is equal to 1 then it worked uh, but that's entirely down to you now as you can see because we didn't put the username or anything it just it just responds with uh, the one the name we set it up with uh, just like so so you can add another parameter in here so you can say username and this time this one will be equal to uh, webhook for example we'll hit go again now you can see we got a message from webhook so you can actually uh, change all of this stuff around and I believe there might be a few more too but I didn't look too deep into the parameters because obviously message is the main one that you want uh, so let's say you wanted to make this into some kind of API well it isn't really needed it, if, if you're putting this within an API uh, I mean a PHP file there isn't much code here anyway so it's not too much of a problem but let's say you wanted to uh, we can say message will be equal to underscore get and then message just like so and you put that message parameter uh, 
right in there like that and you can also do the same thing for username but I suppose that really isn't what you're after here you're probably just after the message so you'd add on the URL url.com forward slash webhook.php and then you would have message is equal to the message that's just a basic example there that's how you'd use it in API form uh, so that's pretty much it really I know there isn't a lot of code but it's a really nice little thing that discord has now and there's also a lot of things that you can implement this into the main thing which I would use it for would be for my store so let's say I got a, a sale of a product I'd put this code or API within my IPN system so when the sale comes it will automatically send me a message here and you could have all kinds of information coming in from the IPN too uh, so let's say it tells you the, the user's name, email, the product they bought you can have this all sorted out and nicely arranged in the message parameter to be sent to you here uh, so you have basically like a receipt printed into your discord chat you can have a private channel called uh, sales and everything comes here now that's just one example there's so many other examples that this could be used for um, but it's entirely up to you how you use it now you've got the basic car request on how to send a post request to discord webhooks uh, you can do the rest so that's pretty much it now, I hope you did like the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time